Hey guys, uh, so today we're going to talk about external hemorrhoids. Uh, there was a very straightforward question in a recent USMLE exam. Um, before we go over this uh, table, uh, this is also on your first aid, so you can just go through yourself. I'm just going to point out the key points. Uh, so basically, uh, the question talked about a patient and uh, it gave you that he had external, external hemorrhoids. Uh, the question then went about and asked, straightforward question was, what's the associated lymph node? Since, uh, so let's look at the difference between internal and external hemorrhoid. Internal hemorrhoid is painless. External hemorrhoid is painful. And other, uh, other classification you need to know is that internal hemorrhoid is about the pectinate, pectinate line and uh, the external hemorrhoid is below the pectinate line. So the answer uh, for this uh, USML question was superficial inguinal node. And um, just to um, point out another um, old question, um, in one of the old questions, they talked about testicular cancer, and the lymph node associated that was perioaortic lymph node. So you should keep an eye for that one too. Uh, again, this uh, whole... Um, chart is table is uh, in your first aid you can use this you can make your own uh, it's always useful to make your own and memorize this uh, table anyways anyways this was uh, tested in the past which was uh, the testicular cancer one and the recent one was external hemorrhoid and they specific they straightforward give you the, you know the patient has it uh, the question goes about a little bit more the vignette has a little longer uh, but at the end it's external hemorrhoid and the association is the answer choice and answer is superficial inguinal node. Hope that helps you. Thank you for watching. Um, thank you. Bye.